Hey folks, too busy here. I promised you a tech tip on how to fish corded crab or blue crab. What I've done is got together with Kyle. He showed up with his hoop net and uh, gave me a hand in getting some crab. What we've got here underneath the hoop net is a nice male crab. I'll show you how to tell it's a male in just a minute. Um, call me a sissy if you like, but I don't like dealing with getting pinched. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the camera on the camera mount. Then I'm going to come back over here and while he's caught in the net, I'm going to twist his claws off. Okay, first thing I do with any crab is make sure it's legal. It's got to be five inches point to point. This guy makes it. So first, what I'm going to do is pop off a claw. Pop off the other claw. Now we've got a little Jimmy here that isn't going to do anybody any harm. Alright, how can you tell it's a male crab? If this is a great big triangle, if it's a female. If it looks like a penis, it's a male. You can either twist or cut off his uh, fins or his legs. So off goes the swimming leg and then the others. I like to cut them off either with a knife or with scissors so that I leave the joints intact. talk a little bit more in a second about why I like to leave those joints intact. Alright, so now he's a, a legless crab. We're going to pop off the back. Okay, at this point, that's the good stuff as far as fishing. Uh, open it up. You want to fish a half split him right down the middle. You got a nice line to follow. Now you got a half crab. I like fishing quarters. So what I do is in between the second and third leg, right down with my knife. That's it. Now I've got four blue crab chunks. There's really nothing to rigging a blue crab to fish with. I use a circle hook. We've talked about the circle hooks over and over and over again. And all I do is in through that knuckle. That's why I like to leave that knuckle intact. And out. You got a nice solid connection there. Doesn't look like much. But that'll hold on. It'll go right down a red fish's gullet. Hit his crushers. And then the circle hook is going to come out and we get a nice hookup. There it is, jump crab. Alright, so it's maybe 10 seconds after the crab hit the water. And that's how we get it done with a piece of blue crab and a circle hook. See that? Right there in the corner of the mound. Alright, we're going to do this again to make sure everybody sees it. A circle hook. A chunk of blue crab in the swimming pool. enjoyed that Too Busy's tech tip. It's really not hard to fish with blue crabs. Just a few things to remember. Make sure they're five inches point to point. They have to be legal to be harvested. Check to see if it's a male or female. Showed you how to do that earlier in the video. Pop the claws off. You can either put the claws on ice and eat them later, or you can use them to bait your minnow trap. Cut the legs off with either a knife or a pair of shears. Remove the shell and cut it into quarters. Remember to hook, use circle hooks and hook it through the knuckles. Knuckles are very, very tough. 
make an excellent attachment and it makes it easy to hook the red. Once they hit the water, if there are redfish in the area, they won't be in the water very long. Until next time, it's too busy. I'll talk to you soon.